Hi everyone, welcome to Puddinwood Avenue. My name is Bindi. So I was just sitting around playing with some of the old, um, some of my mum's old crochet books and she's got a couple of um, books that she has done some hand notes in. And I came across this that I, I don't know, maybe never looked at that page properly before. And as you can see, I've literally just finished this. I'm so excited. I've just found this new, to me, um, stitch called the silt stitch now I thought I'll give it a go just have it a play I love this this is really really cute so um, I'm going to show you how to do this like I said I've literally I literally have just finished this I haven't even sewn my ends in I'm so excited to get on and have and show you but I think I'm going to get some cotton which is not what I was playing with um, I'm going to get some cotton and I'm going to make some face scrubbies out of it Oh, I think that would be really, really cute. Okay, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I have, um, I'm using some Dear Moore's uh, Studio Baby Soft DK, which means it's a size three, number three weight. Um, it is 100% acrylic. Um, there's 360, oh, I'm going meters. Um, hook size is three and a half mils. Um, I think you, you could use it with any, any, this pattern would be good with any yarn, any size hook, but this is just what I was playing with because I've been making some uh, Miracle Babies Foundation uh, hats and I was just playing. So let's just jump in and do this and so pull some yarn out. And so I'm using the three and a half mil hook, which is what the yarn recommends. So. I can't believe how easy this is and I again I really that's just so nice okay so we're just going to start with a slip stitch and you can make this as big or as small as you want um, but it's multiples of three so I'm just going to go count three one two three one two three one two three oh popped it off now I have to count one two three four five six seven eight nine one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's just do another lot. One, two, three. Now, it's the, the count is actually multiples of three plus another three because we're, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to miss the th first three chain because that's going to count as our double. So one, two, three. Um, and we're going to just check mum's book it says oh we're just going to double crochet into every every stitch across so first miss me, me blah, 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 can't talk we're going to i've got this light right in my face again i have to learn not to do that i have to find the right spot i did buy a new little light setup but i don't like it no nope, this is still right in the middle of my face so we're just going to do double crochets all the way across um, I had a vision of, of course, a cowl, a hat, if you wanted to do a, a long rectangle that would fit around your head, um, join the sides and then cinch the top. That would be really cool because, of course, it would sit probably that way. Yeah, um, but definitely a cowl also popped into my mind when making this. Um, and it's a two row repeat. Once we get this first row of doubles all the way across it is literally a two row repeat it is so simple and like i said i think i'm gonna get some cotton down and i'm gonna make some face scrubbies out of it i love um, homemade face scrubbies put one in the shower every night you've got your um, thing there to wash your face with i use micellar water to clean my makeup off first so I have one out on the dressing table that I do the micellar water with um, and um, then I have one in the shower that I wash my face with my face wash with and then when I come out and put my clothes in the washing machine I put my face scrubbies in there too all right so we've gotten to the end of the row so we've got um, multiple of three plus three so the three on the end is our turning chain and then we've got uh, the double crochets all the way across 
So that's row one. Row two, we're going to chain one, which I, we always do anyway, and turn. That's actually going to count as our um, single crochet. Sorry, mine's gone blank. So single crochet, and then in that same stitch, we're going to do, do, oh man, I can't even talk. We are going to put two double crochets into that same end space. Okay. Then we're gonna miss the next two stitches. One, two, and we're going to single crochet into this one. And then we're going to two double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. Some more yarn. We're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to single crochet and two double crochets into the same stitch. Same thing again, skip two, single crochet and double into the same, two doubles into the same stitch. Miss two, single crochet, two doubles into the same stitch. And you should have three stitches left. One, two, three. So we're actually going to miss the two, but we're only going to do our single crochet into that end stitch like that. Looks a bit wonky, but it's okay. Trust me, trust the process. Okay row three so we've got our first little if you turn it over to the right side we've got that lovely little raised shell stitch so it's what's it called silt stitch i love it all right so we're going to instead of chaining one we're going to chain three one two three turn our work we're going to so our three here counts as our double crochet so we're not going to go into this stitch we're going to do a um, double crochet into every stitch all the way across which is what gives us our, our nice little gappy in between so just a, a um, double crochet I'm struggling I think I'm struggling a little bit because mum crochets using UK terms and I crochet using US terms and so I think I'm a little tongue-tied purely for the fact that I have to convert in my head as I'm going what mum's got written down and what I'm what my brain is processing it as so yeah just working our way across so a double crochet all the way across if you're working in UK, UK terms, of course, you're calling this a treble, aren't you? Which is what I want to do because that's what I'm reading out of mum's book. If you're using US terminology, it's a double crochet. Okay, so we're going to go all the way to the end. And that is what our two row repeats going to be all the way across. So. We're about to chain one, which will and turn our work, which will count as our uh, single crochet. And we're going to, into this first stitch here at the end, we're gonna do two doubles, which is the creation of our pattern. So this is our row three. So we're just gonna repeat row two and row three all the way across. Okay, so we've done that. My washing machine's gonna be full till I go and see it. So we're gonna miss two stitches, one, two, and I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets. One and two. That machine's gonna beep until I get up and turn it off. Skip two, single crochet, and two doubles. Skip two, one, two, single crochet and two doubles into the same stitch. Single crochet, oh, skip two, one, two, single crochet and two 
and two doubles into the same stitch and then skip two we're going to go right to the end and we're actually going to be putting a stitch into the top of our chain three so pop that in there single crochet okay so we're back on the we'll be turning back around to the right side I don't know if you can see but the texture on that it's just raised a little bit it's gorgeous my uh, dad's ringing I'll have to ring him back in just a sec all right so now we're going to start row three which is chaining three turning our work that counts as a double crochet we're going to double crochet into every stitch along how easy is that? Pull some more yarn. How easy is that to get such a lovely effect? So thank you, Mama, for a lovely little pattern. I've also got a pattern that's come from my grandma and my auntie who have both passed. Um, and it's the I don't know if you've seen it before the kitten or the cat stitch blanket stitch it looks like a row of cats rows of cats sitting on top of each other um, I have that tucked away in an envelope there with my grandma's writing on it who sent it to my auntie um, so that's going back a long time now and I know there's tutorials on the internet for it um, on YouTube um, and there's probably written patterns for, for it somewhere, but one day in my life, I'm going to jump on and do that and maybe bring you along with me. All right. So I'm just going to stop here. I've got washing machines going off, Dad calling me. But that is the silt stitch. How cute is that? Like I said, I'm going to... Um, make a few of these out of cotton and have them in my bathroom ready to use for face scrubbies. I hope you um, have a go at this. Let me know if you try it down below uh, and thank you very much for joining me. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!